In this video, I'll be showing you how to download the Switch emulator Sadachi. What you're going to need for this Switch emulator is the Sadachi official build, the keys, and the firmware. You're also going to need an extraction tool like 7-Zip so you can extract all these files. I will not be showing you where or how to download the keys or the firmware, but if you follow the instruction in the video, you should be successful for this download. The first thing I want you to do is go to the link in the description. It should have the official build for the Sadachu emulator right there for you. What I want you to do is go ahead and unzip the folder that says Sadachi in it. The first time you open up that folder and you click on that file, you'll be greeted with a message that says this. It's telling us that we have to add our keys to the emulator. Like I said, I will not be showing you where or how to download the keys or the firmware, but if you downloaded the link in the description, you should now be successful for this download of the emulator. The first thing I want you to do is go up to where it says tools. Once we're at tools, we're gonna to go to install keys. All we're gonna do is find the file where we have our keys located at, select it, and then we're gonna press open. You should get this and then it should say this for you. Our keys have been successfully installed for us. The next thing we're gonna do is install our firmware. We're gonna go back up to where it says tools. We're gonna go to where it says install firmware. We're gonna find our folder that has our firmware in it. We're gonna select it and then we're gonna press open. If you look at the bottom here, we should see 18.1 at the bottom now on our firmware. The next thing we're gonna do is set up our emulations graphics. We wanna go to the top where it says emulation, configure, and we wanna go to where it says graphics. We wanna make sure we're on Vulkan, and if we're on Vulkan, we wanna make sure that we have our graphics card selected, if we have one. If you're having any type of lagging issues or choppiness, this is where you come and you try to mess with this. You switch it from Vulkan to OpenGL and vice versa, and it should help you with any choppiness or lagginess. You're gonna press OK, and the next thing we're gonna do is set up our controllers. If you're using an X input controller, we're gonna go to the scroll down under connect controller. We're gonna select pro controller. We're gonna slide over to where it says input devices, we're going to select our X input controller that we are playing with. It should automatically go ahead and pop up for us. If you guys want to switch any buttons or configure anything, all you have to do is click on whatever you want to configure and then press whatever you want to configure on the buttons on your controller to match. If you want to set up any motion for your controller, you'll click right here in the middle where it says motion, click it and then press what you would want the motion to be on your controller. After that, we're simply gonna press OK. The next thing we're gonna do and the last thing we're gonna do is add our games. If you downloaded the link in the description, there was a gift there for you that you can add to your Switch games folder. We're gonna double click the middle right here where it says double click. We're gonna find the folder that has our Switch games in it. We're gonna select it and we're just gonna simply select select folder. Last thing we're gonna do, if you wanna go ahead and have it full screen when it loads up, you wanna click view at the top, you wanna click full screen. Double click whatever game you wanna start and your game should start up for you. If this helped you in any way, shape or form, please hit that like button and go ahead and hit me with a sub. Thank you. 